Hey guys, Kid here here. I got a video for the Tech World blog today. So for all you watching, uh, I have an Intel SSD hardware look. Yeah, an SSD from Intel. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Rao Kishore, the product line manager at Intel, for sending me a review unit of the Intel SSD 80 gigabyte solid state drive. So, guys, I wrote a blog post on this and I had to make a corresponding video. So here it is. Uh, just before I pop it in my machine, because I had I got my order in from Tiger Direct on the. Uh, converter and I'm waiting on the SATA PCI card from Newegg to come in this week so I can pop it in my machine. And I'll give you all the boot time stuff like that. But uh, before I did that, I wanted to give you a hardware review look at it, the SSD, and show you some features and some new stuff design-wise because, of course, their new thing is better by design. Okay, so this is the SSD. Look how thin it is. I talk about this a lot in the blog post. Amazingly thin. It's 1.8 inch. They also have a no, this is a 2.8 inch, sorry, 2.5, I should say. They have a 2.5 and a 1.8. They have a 160 gigabyte drive and a 80 gigabyte drive. And this is the 80 gigabyte, which is great enough for me to review, of course. And you have your SATA connection right here and your shower power connection right here. And that's what I'm waiting for. I need the two converters in the PCI card, and I already have the converter in. Um, okay, so other than that, the design is awesome. Sleek, black all around. Uh, you, have, you can't even see it right here, but... It's kind of, you see that little sleek look up there. It's really, really elegant design uh, type of uh, SSD. Amazing. And again, look how thin this is. And this is ideal for servers, for notebooks, and desktops. So you can see these in future products, guys. It's amazingly thin. You're going to see notebooks get thinner. You know, these in desktops, guys, it's going to be amazing. So um, I'm going to emphasize on the weight and the lightness. It's very, very light. Obviously, you can't tell, but, uh, you know, it's not doesn't weigh much again if you don't know what SSD is it's solid state drive there's no moving parts in here like you're writing you know your regular hard drives that write disk and make noise uh, there's it's all run on flash everything in here is what they call uh, their Intel's NAND technology NAND to learn more about this product uh, if you do want to learn you know a little bit more uh, go into more detail head over to weurl.com slash SSD uh, that's just a, I'll, I'll leave that link in the video description as well okay moving on though um Better by design, like I said, what they designed at this uh, is something that they call IOPS, uh, which is used for app performances and input and outputs for the SSD. And uh, design-wise, the design innovation in this that went into this uh, allowed better app performance because there's better IOP. Uh, they talk about bottlenecking for the input and output levels. Now they also have something called firmer flash for the other SSDs, most other SSDs out there. It travels from the processor to the firmware controller and into the flash memory because it's all you know it's all ran that way. Um, but it's kind of you know uh, when it and the, most other SSDs the performance wise it would lose some performance in transferring because of the bridge chip what they would call it that went into the firmware controller. And what Intel released is something called firmware flash, which you don't the way they designed it you're not going to lose as much. Uh, it's a uh, you're gonna get more better transfer rates because of this. It's not, you know, there's no bridge chip. It's gonna all go through this firmware flash, which makes it much, much more easier for the data to trans transfer through. And you get around 250 megabytes per second. Uh, now this also has 10 parallel NAND. Uh, what do you call it? This is the way the, the way it travels. It's 10 parallel NAND. NAND, you have to look that up. That's on Intel's uh, dealing with the firmware uh, flash and everything like that. Um, the NCQ, which helps with oper uh, current operate operations. Sorry, uh, there's 32 of those on those parallel uh, NAND, as I was talking about. And I also have my notes right here. They also released the SSD firmware write application, so that helps, you know, uh, dealing with the write speed stuff like that, amplifying. And that goes in conjunction with what they call dynamic wear leveling, wear leveling, which is for um, to preserve the hard drive, you know, make sure it stays in good. Uh, high, good condition and that together pr dynamic with SSD firmware write application pretty much protects it from wear and tear so it keeps your hard drive running. I believe this runs for the average lifespan is 12 like 12 say like 12 million hours or something let me double check here on the site that's a long time guys you're here now. where is it life latency no life expectancy 1. Point, sorry 1.2 million hours guys means times before failure. It's MTBF. So guys, again, look how thin this SSD is. Uh, 
amazing, amazing product, and I can't wait to pop this in my machine. So, uh, again, it gets a little technical, but uh, basically everything that they designed within this SSD, uh, to sum it up, has been really designed for transfer to be easier for uh, using their, all based off their NAND technology, for stuff to transfer through easier and the hard drive to preserve itself longer and, you know, really innovating the way uh, that the other, other SSDs have even, you know, even thought about doing it. Intel has got that done in their product here, so I want to thank again Rao Kishore, the product line manager, for sending this over. Uh, as soon as that SATA PCI card, guys, is in, I will do definitely have uh, boot speeds, uh, you know, all that stuff for you guys, the read latency and everything like that for you up on the blog as well as video. So thanks, guys, uh, for watching. All links will be in the video description. Again, head to weurl.com, wiurl.com slash SSD, and I'll link you off to Intel's page on the SSD. And yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to read the review below this. The video will be posted above it, and then you can read the blog post on it. Anyway, guys, uh, uh, hope you enjoyed. See you guys later. Again, thanks, Intel. Thanks, for Ralph Shore, for sending down the product. Catch you guys later. If you have any questions, again, send it to www. Oh, actually, send it to adrianstech at gmail.com, and don't forget to check out the site where the blog is located at www.adrianstech.com. Catch you guys later.